Hey guys, in this video, I'm excited to bring you back to Midtown at Nexton. Now, you may be asking yourself, Ryan, what's up with this? Why are you constantly going to Nexton? Because Nexton was named, named 2021's number one master plan community, and they have some great lots, they have some great potential going on here. If you're looking to make a move to the Somerville area, you definitely need to check out Nexton. It's something that a lot of people who, when they get here, they're not sure about it because, you know, it looks kind of tight. But once you're here, you really see how everything pans out. Um, you can see some of the houses, the yard sizes with some of the drone footage. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna explore the model home row right here at Nexton. Now, I did do a video where I showed New Leaf not too long ago, but let's check out some of the other builders they have here. And let's even visit the information cottage right here, which is right over my shoulder right here at Midtown. And let's see what they have to say. All right, follow me. So one of the cool parts that I really like about Nexon is they want to keep you pretty close to almost any park. Uh, you can be walking distance of a park, dog park, pool, amenity center, you name it. Um, and for my clients that are coming in from out of town, you may be saying to yourself, hey, I need to know more about next and I need to know what the future looks like because in a 30 year plan. So I want to kind of bring you into the info cottage to get a little bit more knowledge about what Nexton has to offer. Hey, how are you? Our Midtown neighborhood mm -hmm. um, is where we have six different builders that build all amongst each other. Okay. Um, and they are Saucy Burbank, David Weekly, Ashton Woods, Homes by Dickerson, New League, and Pulte. Great. And the ranges are basically low 300s all the way up. I mean, we have one, like a Homes by Dickerson, like their largest home on our largest lot, like 3,500 square feet. I think it gets a little bit larger. Um, it's like 700,000 starting. So, I mean, it's a it's a big price. There's a lot of options. Sure. Let me say that. With, a, you know, some a lot of price differences and things. And then we have everything from like cottage style homes to smaller square footage up to, like I said, the 3,500 plus square foot. Great. Um, and then our lots range from like 30 feet that would like what a cottage smaller home would go on up to 75 feet as far as the lots go. Um, and then, and again, as I mentioned, you know, they're, they're building, all the builders build amongst each other. There's going to be close to 3,000 homes um, within Midtown once it's completely built out. Okay. We have about 700 in Brighton Park just to give you a, an idea because I'm sure you're familiar with Brighton. Yep. Brighton is yep. sold out yeah. as far as new construction. Um, there are resales, of course, um, but Midtown is, we've been here a year now and we'll be selling here for, you know, seven to 10 years if I had to guess. Okay. But we are um, bringing in the Midtown Club, which is right down the way past um, uh, Model Road and on Midtown Ave, like you would see it on the right. right hand side. And that's going to be really nice, the Midtown Club. That will open next summer. We're hoping for April of next year. Okay. So in just a few months. Um, but that will be a resort style pool with the beach entry. There'll be tennis courts, pickleball courts, a basketball court there, um, a fitness center, an indoor like amenity center, if you will, to like utilize. Sure. Indoor. Um, there will, it'll be like a really nice event space if I you will, you. with like parks and you know, like I could see food trucks going out there and all that kind of. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, um, that'll be sort of that area. Lots of, uh. We'll have different parks and things within Midtown, kind of very similar to Brighton. Okay. There's like 40 something parks in Brighton. So, wow. I mean, we consider even just like these small green spaces because they're just green space parks. You know, some parks you can do more, like this Ripple Park, for example, there'll be like, this will be like games, like Bocce and okay. Cornhole. Um, like we have the cement cornhole out there, that's what will be over there. But then some parks are just like green space, so a place you can just go sit and have a picnic or hang out, you know, that sort of thing. Sure. Um, so lots of green space within the neighborhood. We have walking and biking trails throughout all of Nexton that connect like our parkway. Obviously is the road that connects, but we have, have the walking trail and walking and biking trail as well. Okay. All the dotted lines are, the, um, are walking and biking. Um, plus you get, so if you, when you live in Midtown, you also have access to the Brighton Park amenities. It's the same. Oh. HOA. Got it. So um, they have a, a, re a resort style pool over there, dog parks, and then they're key bobs. Um, they're getting ready to turn the old greenhouse, which we were in, into like a, 
I would call it the clubhouse for residents. Okay. Well, they'll have like events and things in there. Sure. There's a lifestyle director on the POA staff, so she planning social events, so it's always a lot going on. Right? She's having an, uh, an event this Saturday, a Winter Wonderland. We actually, yeah, it's marketing or putting it on, but it's gonna be a really fun like holiday event. Great. But all the residents are welcome to come to that sort of stuff. Awesome. Um, we will have commercial on the frontage part of Midtown as well. We don't know exactly what that will be yet, but I tell people to look at kind of look at what we've done in Brighton. Sure. So like the grocery store, Harris Teeter is going to be going there. We have the elementary school. The First Citizens is getting ready to open. There's also some room for some possible more retail. Okay. Um, and then we have like the um, Elevate apartment and townhome rentals. Saw that. Yeah. So all of that. So I tell people to kind of see what we've done there, and that's what it could be like in Midtown. Okay. With a school and you know things like that. Um, and then plus really no matter where like wherever you live you're gonna be close to stuff So there's like commercial going in to the back end of like um, the King Bay Street. area. Yeah. yeah That's where like the McDonald's the Buffalo Wild Wings um, Jersey Mike's so There's it. like a Mexican spot and we're gonna open a nail salon a Dunkin Donuts a gas station Okay, so all that's going back there and then we'll have again so sprinkled throughout you know you'll have stuff on the frontage part of um, Midtown across from sort of across from like where the Harris Teeter will go in Brighton Park this is going to be another commercial area with like possibly another grocer going Got it. in there um, and then we have our downtown Nexon area which is so, like in between um, the parkway and then Nexon Square so this sure. will be mixed use as well so anything it could be anything from I know some apartments are going to be going in there so multi-family to office to retail restaurants that whole well they have like thing. condominiums in there could or anything be. okay could be we don't know exactly yet but if we were going to have that like retail but on the bottom living on top I, I would think it would be like in the downtown next sure. area okay great so that'll be you know we'll be building in there for several years as well and then of course we have the next square area which everybody knows about but mm -hmm. that's like you go park and there's like any genre of food you can think of everything from Hall's fine dining to taco boy to right. Fuji sushi to Hoogans, Bad Daddy Burgers. I mean, you've got everything over there. Great. Plus some shopping, service places, you know, ice cream, donuts, all that stuff. And then you've got things kind of sprinkled throughout. So we've got a lot of office here, a lot of like co-working space. I tell people, I mean, when Nexon's completely built out and really even now, I mean, there's, you can do everything you need. I mean, there's your insurance person, there's your medical, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We've got hotels within Nexon. Um, we have five apart four apartment communities now getting ready to open a fifth. There'll be more, I'm sure, coming. Sure. So, you know, we really have something for everybody. I mean, we've got, you know, short-term rentals. We're, we're about to open um, this capstone, these villas at Nexon. This is actually going to be a single-family for rent community. Oh. So that'll be close to MUSC. Uh, we are going to be opening a hospital. Wonderful. MUSC, they're, they were saying 2024. That could be more like 2025. Where <laughs> it's going. So, and then we're going to have a regional park. Okay. Here as well. So Good. this will be like a Berkeley County Park that nice. anybody could really go to and utilize. Um, sure. But we're still working through the planning on that, if you will. Okay. Um, and then I know Dale Webb plans to expand, so I think some of that, the Sister Street Development here, will, will go up this way. Um, and anything else is really on the map that says future development is kind of TBD on exactly what. But this will be like a, as I mentioned, a retail center. So great. Well, fantastic. And your name is again, I'm sorry. I'm Alicia. Alicia, I'm Ryan. Yeah, nice to see you. So guys, we got some great information from Alicia in there at the Info Cottage. So once again, if you come here to Nexton and you want to get some more information yourself, I mean, we just had a whole explanation there. So you probably could skip the Info Cottage if you really wanted to. But honestly, it's uh, it's really cool to check out this area. So this is model row. You're going to see all of the different builders that she was talking about, the six different builders. They all have a little something different. Um, so I just want to kind of come through peruse and show you guys what different options are here let's go in and uh, check out a quick saucy Burbank oh this is cute it's all hello it's just me how are you so inside the Saucy Burbank house here, it's one of the things I like about this builder is they do a lot of more um, custom style work that isn't really custom. Um, and what I mean by that is, these, look at the countertops. So these are, you know, 
the nice stone countertops, but they have a matte finish. They're not really super glossy. So it gives like more of a high-end look. And then check out their appliances that they use here. Some of these are gonna be upgrades, but the appliances really <clears throat> do kind of make a kitchen in my opinion. I mean, you got the beautiful range hood, you've got the backsplash, and it's more of a beveled backsplash. It's not that flat, basic subway tile um, that a lot of these cookie cutter homes are doing now. I mean, when you look at new construction and kind of where it's been the last few years, um, it seems to get more and more cookie cutter. So again, this is Saucy Burbank, um, one of my favorite builders here in Nexon, to be totally honest. I mean, look at this. Got this really great four foot shower, big, big clawfoot tub. You could fit two people in there easy. You've got your little water closet, double vanity. Now here's something a lot of people don't think of. These double vanities, the size of them are really important. And I'll tell you why. Um, when my wife and I have our house, our vanity is very short. It's, it's probably half of that, but it's a double vanity, but we're always elbowing each other. So, you know, the nice part about um, these builders now is they're kind of compensating for that stuff. Um, the other thing to take a look of is the two-tone cabinets. Um, I really like the dark grays with the gold, and then you've got the white with the gold hardware, um, almost a brass. Nice walk-in pantry. You know, things you don't see from the traditional builder. So I'll take you upstairs, uh, show you around up here. So this can be another bedroom over here. It's kind of set up as a little flex room. <clears throat> Got another little living space. And then another bedroom up here. So again, just enough space. You know, you have your three bedroom option. <clears throat> so if this is a plan you're interested in, we can definitely take talk more about it. Um, a lot of these builders have inventory that are gonna be coming up the next year. Um, that'll either be spec inventory or something you can do to be built, depending on the builder. But give you a, kind of a last view of this kitchen. All right, let's move on. Thank you. Good seeing you. I will say though, I love Christmas time here. Uh, it is not snowing for one. Um, that's a big, big thing here. I mean, right now I'm in shorts, in a short sleeve t-shirt and I mean, it's sunny and it's like a, it's like a fall spring day, but it's, it's really nice. So <clears throat> let's go check out uh, Pulte or David Weekly. Hello. Okay, so this is David Weekly. Hello. Hi, how are you? Oh, go ahead. You can sneak out. <laughs> so in this David Weekly home, you've got a really chef stream kitchen. Um, check out this pantry. It's kind of detached. Uh, I've got like a little coffee bar, really nice quartz countertops, uh, cooking range, beautiful backsplash, really nice appliances. And then this nice sitting area for eating. And check out this backyard area. This is really nice. Now, the part of this house that I really do enjoy is upstairs. So let's take a quick look upstairs. And again, this is David Weekly Builder. This is one of the six builders here in Nexton. Look at that. Big game space. If you have kids, teenagers, they're gonna love this. Nice bedroom. Bedroom sizes are good. Another bedroom over here. Laundry. Full bathroom. Check out that bath. Another bedroom. <clears throat> and then the master. Now check out this for a master. Love the lights next to the bed. I mean, it's little things like that that make these rooms um, pop. You know, just the little, little things that normally 
the average person would not think of decorating their home like. Look at the size of this walk-in closet. This is huge. This was the size of my first apartment. All right, now the part that I live for, the showers and the bathroom. See, this is what I'm talking about. Nice big walk-in shower, private toilet closet. I will say though, this is a little small for me, but if you can do it, hey, more power to you. All right, now that we've seen this house, let's go check out another builder. Okay guys, so we are now gonna check out a Pulte home. Now Pulte is one of my favorite builders. Um, they actually have two models here, the one exactly across the way of the street that you can check out. That's a three floor massive house. I mean, three floors that house. Can you believe it? It doesn't look that way, but it's really cool. So this is Pulte. This is one of their other uh, floor plans that I really, really like. Let's check this out. So as you enter this home, you've got your formal dining room right here. You got this great office flex space right here. Um, you've got a nice half bath and then these pulty, um, these pul little pulty work centers. These are great. And look at this kitchen. counters are great. I love the navy. The navy blue has been a real big thing this year. So like the navy blue island with the white and the cabinets that go all the way up to the ceiling. Look at this awesome living room and these awesome sliding doors leading out to the screened in porch. Pulte really does set the bar for a lot of builders here in Nexton. Um, I think you'll really enjoy what they have to offer. And look at this. This is a this is like an in-law guest suite. So this is a massive bedroom, but check this out. It's got its own suite, nice bathroom. And then it's got the walk-in closet. So if you got grandma visiting, mom, dad, whoever it is, they're gonna be able to come and visit you and stay on the first floor, which is great. Okay, so at the top of the stairs here, we have bedroom number one. Nice little walk-in closet. Decent sized bedroom, good for kids. Bedroom number two. And actually it's bedroom number three because our bedroom number one was downstairs. And then you've got your fourth bedroom. And then, Laundry upstairs. Let's check that out. And then this great loft space. So again, game room, kids, whatever it is, you can, uh, you know, get them out of your hair for a little bit and enjoy your living room. And then our master bedroom. I uh, love all the shiplap on the walls. Again, just the way they decorate these rooms. Um, you can, the nice part about Pulte is you can have wood floors upstairs. So if you're doing a to be built, these are things you can, you know, have. The other thing I love about Pulte is their bathrooms. Check this out. Vanity here, vanity here, massive walk-in shower. Okay. But look at that. Rainfall, rain shower head. And then big walk-in closet for the master. So if you're planning on buying a home here in Nexton and you're comparing all the different builders, you know, Pulte is definitely going to be one that should stick out to you. Um, they have some very popular floor plans and Pulte not only sells here in Nexton, but they sell over in Carnes Crossroad and throughout the low country. So, you know, if it's just not Somerville that you're looking at, you're looking at Johns Island or some of these other areas, Pulte is definitely going to have uh, something for you. And I love the gas lanterns. I mean, how cool is that? So let's, let's kind of cover our bases here. We've visited Pulte, David Weekly, Saucy Burbank, and the Info Cottage, and kind of checked a lot of those boxes. So let's go over and check out an Ashton Woods product. Um, and then also a Homes by Dickerson product. 
So let's go. I love this little street here. I, I actually hope they keep the street like this because this would be a cool place to come and have like food trucks. Once they sell these model houses, it'd be just a great place to come and have food trucks and really check out the uh, the sights and the sounds of next because the amenity center is going to be right over there. Okay, here's Ashton Woods. So as we enter here, we've got your formal dining room. Big, tall, 10-foot ceilings in this house. Right off the bat, you've got these massively tall ceilings. Big, big bedrooms. Wide hallway. Oh yeah, this is nice. Now, a lot of people that I bring through this home absolutely love this kitchen, and I'll tell you why. You got this great, dark quartz counters. Um, and I know some people maybe love this or hate this, but honestly, I feel like this tone of wood is making a comeback. Um, we see so many whites and grays now. It's it's actually nice to kind of see wood making a comeback. Um, don't know how you feel about that. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. We got a pot filler. And look at this, a six burner cooktop commercial burner. You've got your oven, your microwave, you got your fridge. Look at this, they thought of everything. A little drink refrigerator and all this extra cabinetry. This butler's pantry is out of this world. And then look at this. I mean, this is cool. I can, I can walk around in this pantry and it's just, uh, it's, it's a nice layout. It's a really great, option for people i love the double the triple slider there uh for the outdoor and they've got this little drop zone so most people have to park uh behind um they actually have to park behind their home so this would actually be your main entrance so what's nice is is there's an actual drop zone right here okay We've drooled enough over this first floor. Let's go check up the upstairs. All right, right at the top here, we've got this great loft space. Love the built-in uh, seating. Got bedroom number one up here. Pretty average size bedroom. Got your laundry room up here a little bit of a bigger size bedroom nice full bath <clears throat> and then let's go into the master so master up here you have nine foot ceilings so again it feels very tall in here um and again i love how they carried the wood cabinetry up there's that clawfoot tub, nice tile shower. And again, this is an Ashton Woods product. So if you're a, whoa, look at that closet. And there's plenty of space in between your partner. But if you're a fan uh, of this style, Ashton Woods is a great builder. Uh, they build in Cane Bay. They build all over the low country. They're an exceptional builder. I highly like, like them. <clears throat> all right. The other cool thing here next and then I probably didn't point this out is, you see out there, you can actually get room above the garage. So they can actually build you an extra room with a full bathroom, with a living room. So it can be kind of an income property. So if you're someone who's like, likes an investment, you can do an income property, but, or you can do, and this is really great, um, you can also do the option of having, uh, it is an office, a lot of people are working from home, they need to get away from the kids, they just need a little separation, that's gonna be perfect for it. Okay, the next house we're gonna see is Homes by Dickerson. So this is a builder, um, semi-custom builder. Here's what I really like about Homes by Dickerson, the quality, the craftsmanship, the style. Uh, 
little things, little aesthetic pieces. Um, all the homes here in Nexon have either board and batten or your hardy plank siding. So as you enter, this is their ranch product. And what I really like about this is, if you look, you can really customize this house. They allow you to do a lot of customization in their homes. Little office right here. Hey. <laughs> Little office right here, right off the entryway. So if you're working from home, this is gonna make a big difference in your life. Um, I also like how they brought the flooring to the ceiling. It's a nice little touch, aesthetic touch. And again, big tall ceilings in this one. Full 10 foot ceilings. You got your full bath up here. Two bedrooms up front, which are really great spacious bedrooms. And then you've got your kitchen and living room so really decent sized living room really beautiful kitchen love the courts love the appliances and i like how the cabinetry goes all the way up and you do have some glass cabinets at the top again it gets rid of that cookie cutter um feeling to most houses a lot of the new construction you're seeing now has a very cookie cutter white shaker cabinet this has got a lot more detail, a lot more aesthetic, pleasing uh, parts. I mean, look at the backsplash. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. Uh, and again, it's that beveled subway tile, but with a herringbone pattern, which I think is kind of very popular right now. So good amount of cabinets, really nice quality of cabinets. Um, that's the one thing I definitely like about this builder is it's, it's quality all the way through and through. And that's kind of the, you know, the, theme in Nexton is quality. Um, when you compare it with, you know, other builders or other neighborhoods, some of them have more of that cookie cutter track housing type plan. And uh, for a lot of people, that's not what they're looking for. Nice tall doorways. Look at that. Built in shelving, no wire shelving. So again, it's just those little things that, you know, make a big difference. And this is our master. So when you look at the master, you've got your, you know, wood beams. Again, how many times do you see that in a traditional new construction home? Look at this shower. This is a shower. This is a party shower. So just so you can see, there is plenty of room in here for plenty of people or just you and your significant other, whoever. I don't judge. Um, you've got this awesome walk-in closet, but here's what's really cool is, is, is the master kind of just flows throughout this side of the house. I really like this uh, master closet. And then you've got your laundry in the back, little drop zone right here, right before the back door. And again, as I mentioned before, you'll do most of your, you know, coming in, in the back, you'll park in the back, park in your garage, and you'll come through. So you have a drop zone. And then you just kind of come into your little breakfast nook in your kitchen. So again, this is Homes by Dickerson. If you have any questions, reach out on this one. Okay, so again, that was Homes by Dickerson. And we've seen Pulte, we've seen Ashton Woods, and we've seen Saucy Burbank. So um, let me know if you have any questions about the homes here in Midtown. So once again, Ryan McHugh, right here at Midtown Nexton your neighborhood expert. If you have questions about moving or relocating here, feel free to give me a call, 843-226-5535. If you wanna see available properties now here in Midtown, go to my website, www.buyfromrye.com, and I'll be sure to see you next time.